Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about classic circuits you should know. Well, we're going to talk about one of them and that's going to be a constant current source. This is a, a common question you're going to get asked if you apply for a job as an electrical and electronics engineer. They're going to say, um, can you design a simple constant current source? There are a multitude of ways you can do it from, you know, like using a LM317 or an op amp. But what they're really looking for is can you do it simply with the transistor? And yet, yeah, it's really, really easy. If you recall the circuit we used the other day for um, matching our transistors, it's almost the same circuit. Well, it basically is the same circuit. So we have our VCC and we have ground. Then we have our transistor. This is going to be an NPN transistor in this case, right here. And I'm going to use a 2N2222 because that's just like my absolute favorite. Now, from the collector, in between the collector and VCC, this is going to be our load. And then, from the emitter, we're going to have an emitter resistor in this case. This is RE, and it's going to be 1K. The reason we use an emitter resistor is to prevent a thermal runaway with a transistor with a BJT. The hotter it gets, the, hot, the higher it amplifies. The higher it amplifies, the hotter it gets. This prevents that thermal runaway. So then, the only other thing we need is a voltage divider, R1. R2 to feed the base because we know if we give the base current X then we are going to get current Y from the emitter it's going to be constant regardless so this is how we can build ourselves a constant current source and I have whacked one together right here to show you guys really simply if I can pick everything up and move it into the picture. Okay. All right, here we go. So, here is R1. Oop, I should really put that in the picture so you guys can see it, huh? There we go. Here's R1, which is 10K, and here is R2, which I'm using the substitution box so we can adjust it. Okay, and we're going to start out with 3K. All right, here's RE, which is 1K. Now, here's where the voltage divider feeds to the base of the 2N2222, and right here is where we are grabbing our load which is this LED and I've got the amp meter in between so that we can see. Now I'm going to feed this with 5 volts unlimited current, power it up and you see we get 3 milliamps. With our 10K, 30K resist, uh, voltage divider. Now if I change this, let's say we go to 1 to 1, then we get 1.3 milliamp. If I go higher, then we're up to 3.02 milliamps. So by adjusting one half of our voltage divider, we can change the current feeding the base, which changes the output. Now how do we do that and how can we design it? Well, it's really pretty simple. A couple of formulas, nothing to break your brain over. We know that the emitter current is equal to the beta plus one times the base current. All right, so we figured out these uh, 2N2222s have a beta of 436, all right? 
So then we just need to figure out our load. I load, our load current. And it is equal to our collector current, which is equal to the beta times the base current. So if we further extrapolate, our load current is equal to the beta voltage at the emitter divided by beta plus one of the emitter resistor. Are you still with me? All right, here's where it gets simple. I just pointed all this out. It's just really simple. I load is actually equal to voltage at the base minus 0 0.6, which is our silicon voltage drop across the PN junction over RE. Ba -dum -ba. That's all you need to know to make a constant current voltage source. This is a super, super simple one. You could add in another transistor to make it more stable. You could use this to drive a Zener diode. A hundred different things you could do, but this is a classic circuit you should know. The single transistor constant current source. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to my remaining patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out because it's my birthday, and I'm going to go have a cupcake. You guys have a good day. Peace.